Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be practicing how to calculate the elasticity of supply considering a change in the quantity supplied and a change in the price. With that said, let's get into it. So in this video, we'll be calculating a change in the elasticity of supply. And to do this, we need a change in the quantity supplied as well as a change in the price. So recall our elasticity equation for elasticity of supply, the change in Q divided by Q over the change in P divided by P. And in order for there to be a change in something, I must have an old value and a new value. So in this case, I need an old price or P1, a new price P2, an old quantity and a new quantity. Luckily for me, in this particular example, I've been given all four values. So all I need to do is plug them into the formula. The old price or the initial price is $20. The new price is $25. The old quantity supplied is eight and the new quantity supplied is nine. Now remember, when calculating elasticity of supply, I'm simply calculating the percentage change. So that's new minus old over old. Let's see what that looks like with these values in place. Elasticity of supply is equal to the new quantity supplied, nine, minus the old quantity supplied, eight, divided by the old quantity supplied, which is eight. And then we do the exact same thing for price. New price of 25 minus old price, 20, over old price, 20. Using simple algebra, I can simplify this to 1 eighth over 5 twentieths, or 1 quarter. If I want to turn this into decimals, that will give me 0.125 divided by 0.25, or 1 eighth over 1 quarter, which is simply equal to 0.5. Taking the absolute value, 0.5 is less than one, and therefore supply must be inelastic. And it's as simple as that. We hope that you found this video useful. And if you did, let us know by liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and of course, let us know in the comment section what sort of economic topics you'd like to see us cover in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll catch you in the next.